Hello guys, so it's second part of the review uh, new Cascadeur 2025.3 and as I said previously they added auto-posing for quadruped uh, basically for cats and dogs right now if you wanna animate something else will be problematic if we go to rig mode uh, Okay, we'll see. Yeah, everything looks nice. And here we are, quadruped. Yeah, you can rig your own cat or dog model, but for horse and lizard, probably will be some uh, problem. But anyway, that's very nice, very nice feature. So, uh, by the way, uh, also what they did, they added uh, Cascadeur team add untwist bones for arms and legs it's done for better compatibility with the DAZ 3D software and character creator uh, models so yeah that's also really nice before we go to the ragdoll I want to show you a little improvement on the timeline when you copy your file and drag it, you see now we see the number of frame beside our keyframe. That is really, really nice. Yeah, that's cool. So let's go to the ragdoll. And what we see here, woo, no, that's not, not ragdoll, uh, out of physics on. That's why ragdoll doesn't work. Uh, yeah, ragdoll. So, if we press ragdoll, now we get this animation. And what they did, and Cascadeur team add the angle constraint to all bones on your character to improve animation of the ragdoll. You can find it here in the settings, setting wi window, just type angle or angle constraint and you will get this it's uh, off by default you can turn it on and in point controller mode when you select controllers you will see all the angle constraint and you can adjust all of them as you want again it's done for better ragdoll animation it's in the object properties tabs angle constraint separate tabs for this so yeah what else uh, it's done uh, as you see here we have a key beside the um, stretching tab uh, right now that's mean that the all the keyframe information will be saved by default it's on that's why all default information uh, all the keyframe information will be uh, cascader will try to save all the keyframe information when you're stretching your uh, timeline so yeah i guess that's it for now maybe i will review the new render because they added a render to cascader but it's it's separate file and yeah so I hope it was helpful and see you on the next video guys bye